I was um, living and teaching in London. I was being exposed to new ideas on how dance can be used within the educational context. Using dance to teach. Teach what? Okay, take your make your shape A and take your shape B. Now you can calculate the gradient of this line. That is, uh, you take the difference in the Y, that is 3, 1, 2, 3, and you take the difference in the X, 6. So that's 3 by 6. That's 1 by 2, that's half. So the gradient of your line is half. And you can use that number to see what tempo, what speed you want to move at from uh, position A to position B in that line. I still think learning curricular content through the body is valid and exciting. I would, but I would like to extend this idea to see if art, movement and the body can be relevant to the lives of people who don't want to be dancers. This means my practice has to include the most non-artistic person. The person who is least inclined to move. As an artist, teacher, I still don't have a term that describes what I do. But I try to build structures in which others can move. Safe spaces where people can engage with movement and aesthetics that are not defined or determined by technical dance vocabulary. However, being a trained dancer myself, I have often wondered where technique or form fits into my practice. This is how I understand it. But I would like to suggest that technique is a subset of form. There's no getting away from form. How you communicate has an impact on the meaning created. You make conscious choices about how to communicate. And to me, aesthetics is the logic through which you make those choices. I strongly believe that engaging with form and aesthetics in a physical way is valuable. And you don't have to be a dancer to do it.
ካለ ለክና ይስተር ሆነ ከተንዲ ፍምስተት ሹም Maybe I should give a little bit of uh, the context behind making this. Um, is that we didn't make it alone. We were uh, we're part of a video poetry collective, and we presented some work here before as part of that. And um, one of us moved to Delhi, uh, and we were trying to think of ways in which we can continue our, our exploration about image text sound in a video form, not in a film. um if we could figure out a way of continuing that while living and working in different cities so the idea of starting a kind of a distillery uh kind of exchange started from that and this time we wanted to work with other people's material uh film clips uh mobile phone videos photographs and see if using text uh we can kind of bring it together as one piece that doesn't become a series of film clips that are lined up together can it can the things be brought together through a kind of lateral montage where the connection happens not because of one image preceding the other and it happens from the the ear to the eye or at least that's that's what we were trying to do at the time when we were trying to do this